COVID Holocaust comparisons must end, say Holocaust survivors. The Combat Antisemitism Movement, CAM, reported almost 60 million online interactions tying pandemic-related concerns with Holocaust language, and Holocaust survivors have reacted to the findings. COVID-19 measures and limitations are being compared to the human rights atrocities committed during the Holocaust, which resulted in the deaths of over 12 million people, including over 6 million Jews, according to a study issued by CAM on January 5. Comparing the vaccination requirement to a Nazi-era health pass has been going on since January 2020, and comments like Ohio Congressman Warren Davidson's on January 12 are part of the continuous degrading analogies. In recent weeks, a New York City council member said she didn't need to show you my documents since this isn't Nazi Germany, and a Beit Shemesh McDonald's customer posted a video on TikTok equating the restaurant's kiosk asking for his vaccination status to Nazi Germany's anti-Jewish practices. In the past two years, the COVID-19 epidemic has increased the prevalence of Holocaust trivialization among politicians, grassroots groups, the media, and the internet. Activists are flocking to the streets, attending school board and municipal council meetings all around the globe, and using social media to express their discontent, frequently in a way that trivializes the pain of Holocaust survivors. It is imperative that we take immediate action against Holocaust trivialization, which serves as a prelude to full-blown Holocaust denial. International March of the Living President Phyllis Heidman called it outrageous and terrible, that Holocaust survivors still living today must watch it. More than 60 million internet references were recorded by CAM in English, followed by 2.6 million encounters in Hebrew and 2.1 million in Spanish. Anti-Semitic conspiracies, Holocaust denial, and other extreme ideas have spread because Holocaust deniers have been able to let the trivialization of Nazi Germany's crimes against humanity go unchecked says CAM CEO Sasha Reutemann Dratwa. Anti-Semitic theories dating back centuries are being revived as a result of these analogies. Jews are being implicated as disease carriers and as part of a worldwide plan to seize power via mandates. This approach reduces Holocaust commemoration as well as Jewish safety concerns amid a wave of worldwide anti-Semitism that is currently surging.